Hey, how's it, hey, how's it going? March 7th, 2022. This is your really sweet talk. Um, <laughs> not gonna start over. Uh, you guys hear about that new show on Peacock? Everyone's favorite streaming service, Peacock. Uh, it's called Joe vs. Carol. This is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, it's about uh, the Tiger King and Carol Baskins and their um, Joe Exotic and Carol Baskins there and their infamous feud uh, that everyone cared about for a month, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> um, so on the surface, this series seems like too late. Uh, why? Are, what are they doing? Uh, this was a mistake. Um, this if you go go see anyone talking about it or just look at their replies to like Tiger King, who cares about that? I don't think anyone talked about it. there was a season two. No one, nobody talked about that. Um, I think people came back around to saying actually that documentary was not uh, was super biased and whatever. I have no opinion on that. I don't know. I thought it was pretty entertaining, um, but I, I, I haven't done any research into it. I I plan on watching season two. Um, and honestly, this Peacock show looks interesting, but I'm not gonna buy fucking Peacock. <laughs> Excuse my language. I'm not going to buy Peacock to watch a, a Tiger King docu um, a bi bi biopic series. Um, but I will say, it's not as cynic. It doesn't look as cynical on the surface if you if you dig a little deeper. It actually looks like it's probably um, more faithful to the story than the docu series. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's that's the appearance it gives. The docu series seemed very ex ex exploitative, like most documentaries are. Um, I don't know. You could say the same thing about biopics, but they they're putting a lot more effort into like um, I don't know, humanizing them. I guess maybe. Whereas docu series is like. Whoa, shocking. Look at this. Look at what happened. Isn't this insane? Little twists of, of, of people, true crime, people, these people died in real life. Very, very icky. Um, whereas, I don't know, the biopic seems to be more from the, um, angle of like, um, these are interesting uh, lives and an interesting story that happened, and let's let's explore that. Let's not um, exploit that and show. I don't want to just call Tiger King completely exploitative. Exploitative. It was told in a very interesting way, but that's kind of the whole hook. Is just like, here's a story you don't know. Why should it unfold? Now, uh, Joe versus Carol. That's a story you do know. Because now everyone knows it. And, you know, let's explore that and let's tell this story the right way. This is, that's kind of, um, <laughs> I don't know, in defense of this series. I have not seen it. Um, and I do think it's, it's too late. And um, I feel like they're kind of just banking on it now. They've probably sp spent a lot of money on it. Is what it seems like because there's a lot of advertising for it, and it's like they must know the audience for that is gone. <laughs> they must know. They can't be. I mean, I don't know. Hollywood execs are really uh, brain out of touch. <laughs> I was gonna say brain dead. They're really out of touch. So maybe they do think it's still relevant somehow. Um. Is that Nick Cage one still happening? I'm interested in seeing that. Uh, probably not going to be good. This one's probably the more um, careful biopic. I don't know. I'm out of time. Whatever. 